Hi everybody, so I'm just going to record a quick video on how to help your new consultant be set up for the most success that you can possibly do. So this is the kind of strategy that I try and follow because I believe this is the best way possible to help your new consultant start. So, I've got my whiteboard. So it's going to be in six steps. So we've got six very, very, very basic steps. So it's easy to follow. So let's say you sponsor somebody in April, which I'm sure you all are going to at least once, I'm sure many, many times. So step one in April is to help them build their business into district manager qualification, which is a thousand PQVs. So nice and simple to do. Um, a lot of people do that on their first um, launch night, pre-launch, um, and then just help them go on from there. We know that at launch nights, people are so excited that they're friends in business, they want to support them, that you can generate between about 500 and 1,000 points from sales from people's launch nights. And one little tip about helping your new consultant, um, let's just call them Sandra. So Sandra started her business. So one little tip to help Sandra really, really get going for success is I find that calling somebody's launch a pre-launch makes it sound really exciting. And the products that you have at the pre-launch, you don't need all of them there, just a few of your favorites so they can touch, feel, and smell how good the products are, is to say that because Sandra's um, having a pre-launch of her business and she officially starts as a district manager in the next couple of months, that's when she officially starts as a business owner. So these are pre-launches. Her products are on pre-sale from her business and so they can get their hands on them on that night under the pre-sale of these products from Sandra's pre-launch and what I find is by saying that using that terminology it makes people much more excited I'm exactly the same if I'm invited to a pre-launch of something like if one of the local pubs has a new menu they have a pre-launch of that menu where you go along and you get to sample the food on a pre-sale before it's official and it's just really exciting it makes you feel special it makes you feel like a VIP really really excited so just a little tip just to help you out a little bit there so step number one of the six steps that you ideally want to help Sandra your new consultant go through is complete district qualification and make sure you announce that make sure you um, have a photo of them and use one of those really fancy word art apps that you can make that really public so all of their network and family and friends know that they have not only just started um, their business as a new as a new consultant throughout this pre-launch um, time so the pre-launch as I said or in the first couple of months until they get to district really um, make sure that all their family and, family and friends know how successful they've been so early on so that can all go public and everyone can cheer them on. Step number two is you want to help them get into Strong Start Part 1. There are four parts to Strong Start and if you're not 100% sure what they are, I have recorded a video that goes into depth on that. Strong Start Part 1 is 1,500 QBs and that doesn't have to just be personal from Sandra, that can be her team, um, events, PCs that are you're helping Sandra do. So step two is help them get into Strong Start. <clears throat> and again, announce that. And that so you can do part one in the first couple of pre-launches, whether they're online or in person. Step two, maybe three pre-launches. Um, it might take you a little bit more, but still, it's you know that's really exciting. Okay, so that's the first part. Now, Sandra might have started her business late in April, so now I'm going to go into May. But what I'm going to go through in May, you could actually still do in April, but it's just to keep it really, really simple. So number three, so we've done one, two. So number three is to complete all of Strong Start. So you want to do part two and part three and complete district manager. So to do all of that, the total needs to be 6,000 QBs in total over April and May or over one month. So that can be over one month or two months. And by doing 6,000 total team points between Sandra and her team, she will complete um, the first three parts of Strong Starts. So there's only four. So she'll complete part one, part two, part three, and she'll complete district. So what that means for Sandra is she'll get the free bag with Strong Start part one. She'll get the necklace with Strong Start part two. She'll get the RE9 set, the whole anti-aging set with Strong Start part three. And she'll be a brand new district manager, which means she'll be paid as a district manager, which is an extra 8% on top of what she already gets, which averages about 100 to 800 pounds a month average income as a district manager. For me, uh, my lowest paycheck as a district manager was 500 pounds a month and my highest was 700 pounds for the month. So that just gives you a bit of an idea. So that's part three. 
part four is to spot, help Sandra learn how to sponsor at least three new independent consultants herself all with a minimum of 150 points order. The reason why it needs to be a minimum of 150 points order is because then these new three consultants are having some of the products for themselves and they're going to get a free gift as well worth about 80, 90 pounds, depending on what they personally want to choose. So the reason why we say sponsor at least three new consultants is because that completes Strong Start part four and all of it. There's only four parts to Strong Start. And if she completes Strong Start, she gets everything else that we've already said and a £400 voucher to help build her products up. So a lot of people ask me, how do you help your new consultants get started if they can't afford to invest lots of money into their business buying all of the products? Obviously, it's fantastic if they can straight away buy like the makeup kit, the RE9, the nutrition kit, and a few of the other products. So they've actually got some to show people. That's absolutely fantastic. But if they can't afford to do that, to make that investment into their own business, they can build up those products by going through here and completing Strong Start is going to help them build up the products. So they're going to get a £400 voucher so they can invest that back in to their business by buying products and they're going to start getting paid really well. So what they get paid for the first few months, I highly encourage people to not spend that money but to invest it back into their business to start buying the products so that they've got more products to personally use and talk about and then to lend to other people and show them. So I, I, four months into my business, I had every single product that Arvon does. So every single product somebody asked me about, I've got a personal experience or I can lend it to them for like a three day at home trial um, but if people can afford to do that straight on fantastic if they can't then they can still succeed massively at this business it might just take them one or two months to actually um, get going whereas someone somebody that can invest really on might be able to get going quicker I hope that makes sense okay so we're on part four I'm going to wipe the board now so that um, I can draw the rest of it so let's say we're in May I'm just going to wipe off April. So we're in May, we've done part three, which is complete strong start and complete district. And we've done part four, which is sponsor at least three new independent consultants. So we're still, are we still in May? Yeah, we're still in May. So we're now going to go into area qualification. Area qual is 10,000 QBs minimum, which is your whole team. So going into area qualification, means that you're then in the position to complete the following month as a brand new area manager, which is where most people want to get their business actually started from. Because at that level, your income is roughly between a thousand um, and two and a half thousand pounds paycheck every single month. So for me, my lowest paycheck was a thousand pounds as a brand new area manager when I first promoted and my highest has been 2,300 for the month. So people take you more seriously when you're actually earning this kind of money. And when you get to area manager, you're taken a lot more credibly. Your business is also <clears throat> willable, so you want to get to this point as quickly as possible. And once you're at this level, then you you are taken much more seriously and um, you're earning some great money and then you can officially announce that you know your business is at this level and you don't need to do all your pre-launches anymore because now it's absolutely official. So that's May, and then in June, so again, I'm just using this as months. In June, you're gonna do step number six, which is complete area. So that's gonna be 14,000 QBs, which will complete area, so 14,000 points. So to be an area manager, you need to spread it over two months. So we've done May and June, doesn't matter what two months is, and the total points needs to be 24,000. So if you add up May's 10 and June's 14, that equals 24. Now you can be an area manager over three months, which is 30,000 in total, but I highly encourage people to do it over two because then it's done quicker and it's less points. So I massively encourage that. And then, so if that's your new consultant and you work really closely with them to go through these six very, very simple steps, you've basically taught them everything that they need to know to be fully independent of their own. And then what I would make sure is over that, two or three month period of teaching them those six steps make sure that they know how to do them. they know how to prospect and make new friends so that they can obviously talk to people about their business and products make sure they know how to book appointments with people make sure they know how to do a one-to-one -one. make sure they know how to do a workshop and that's either um, a skincare workshop a makeup a makeup workshop a nutrition workshop um, a spa workshop it, it, the lists are endless with these products make sure they know how to do a follow-up 
and make sure they know how to do online events and you discover Arbonne and how to sponsor new consultants so they can start building a team. And what I would say to my new consultants is, I'm going to teach you how to get to these six steps and I'm going to teach you all the things you need to know, all the fundamentals you need to know about this business. It is so simple. Sometimes we overcomplicate it, but it's dead simple. I'm going to teach you six simple steps that you're going to go on to duplicate. And I'm going to teach you these simple skills, which I've taken from the Eric Wari GoPro book or CD, which I give to my new consultants as well. I'm going to teach you these skills. And I understand if you don't want in your business to do workshops or to do Discover R bonds or to um, do one-to-ones, whatever it is, but I'm going to teach you how to do all of it because then I want you to teach your new um, consultants how to do all of it and then you can build your business however you want. If we all teach everybody how to do everything, then we've all got um, the fundamentals that we need because you might sponsor somebody that wants to do makeup workshops and if I've not taught you how to do that because you told me you didn't want to do makeup workshops, how are you going to teach her or him how to do that? So I teach my new consultants how to do everything. We have a document called the top 10 to do's and in that it's broken down into these, these fundamental skills and these six steps I've just gone through. And it's a really simple top 10 things to do. And it's got links for every single step so that when somebody starts their business, they work their way through that in their first couple of weeks. And then they keep referring back to it as and when they need. So that they've got it all in one document. So I'd like to think of that as if I was to drop dead, which hopefully I won't. If I was, I know my consultants can do this business with or without me. They've got that document, they've got the fundamentals, they've got everything they need. They don't have to ask me absolutely anything. Obviously I'm there for them because we build up a really great friendship, but they don't have to ask me anything because they've got it in the top 10 to do's. They've got everything they need and they can go on to build a really successful business without having an upline. Um, And they can just go from there. So I hope that that's been helpful. So good luck with sponsoring your new consultants in April and helping them get started for a massive successful year um, going through those six steps. Bye.